As we all know, Red Sox Nation extends well beyond Boston's city limits. Fans across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts are hoping tonight's the night to celebrate, just like they did in downtown Providence following the Sox unforgettable World Series win back in 2004. Today, we checked in with Providence Police to see what precautions they are taking to keep people safe when the series finally comes to an end. Our in-depth coverage of the Sox in the series continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Shannon Heggie live in the newsroom. Major Thomas Verdi with Providence Police tells me they'll have about 85 officers on duty tonight. That's about 20 more than usual and includes detectives, gang and gun task forces, uh, uniformed officers, and traffic officers. They'll also have two mounted officers on tonight. And while they are prepared, uh, Major Verdi tells me they're not overly concerned about celebrations getting out of hand. This is very different than Boston. Boston, um, you know, they have to plan accordingly. We didn't, in 04, there were no issues, 07, no real issues. Uh, so we did increase the patrols. Uh, we don't foresee or expect uh, too many issues or any issues at all. Providence police have also been in contact with local colleges. They met with representatives from Providence College and Johnson and Wales last night. Johnson and Wales media spokesperson Madeline Parmenter told me they'll also have extra security, not necessarily because they're worried about their own students acting out, but rather because of their location in the city. Now, if it goes to a game seven, Providence police will have 110 officers on tomorrow night, including an extra mounted officer. And while they will have ballistic shields and tasers if necessary, they will not be using Pelicans. In the newsroom, I'm Shannon Heggie, Eyewitness News.